evening. Thanks for joining us tonight on News 4 Live at 5. I'm Jessica Bowman. Topping news tonight at 5. We begin with this developing story. Leaders in the Midwest say it is a huge win for farmers. Just hours ago, the EPA announced E15 gasoline will be sold nationwide once again this summer. The Environmental Protection Agency says global conflicts are putting pressure on the world's fuel supply. An emergency waiver from the agency will exempt gasoline blended with 15% ethanol from an existing summertime ban. This blend has previously been prohibited in the summer months because of smog concerns. Today, many people are praising the EPA's decision, saying ethanol is a product that helps farmers and reduces pain at the pump. According to the AP, Iowa leads the nation in ethanol production, followed by Nebraska, Illinois, South Dakota, Minnesota, and Indiana. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds reacting today to the decision. She did release a statement saying in part, I am pleased to see the EPA issue this waiver, allowing cheaper, cleaner burning E15 to be sold this summer. This is a huge victory for Iowa farmers, American energy independence and consumers. However, it comes after a disappointing decision to delay implementation to permit year round sales of E15 in eight Midwestern states end quote. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst also had feelings on the waiver of E15 sale this summer. She said, quote, finally, Americans will have access to higher blends of ethanol like E15 throughout this upcoming summer driving season. And while agreeing with it, she said, quote, instead of waiting for the whims of the administration to issue a last minute waiver, I will continue to push for a nationwide solution that permanently secures lower prices at the gas station. Meanwhile, Nebraska Senator Pete Ricketts also in favor speaking out today. He says he would like to see a change for year round E15. He said in part, quote, E15 enjoys bipartisan support because it saves drivers money at the pump, cleans our environment and supports Nebraska farmers and American agriculture. And he went on to say, let's pass Senator Fisher's Consumer and Fuel Retailer Choice Act and make year round E15 permanent. And of course, we'll have more reaction from Midwest leaders tonight on News 4 at 6.